next set of questions we will talk about ingested dose so let's do this question we have time gap initially we have time gap uh, two hours the plasma level of the drug at admission is a 40 milligrams per liter volume of distribution 80 liters half-life 40 hours and the clearance 35 liters per day what is ingested ingested dose so we can use once again this uh, equation for volume of distribution dose or plasma concentration and uh, this dose will be ingested dose so it will be calculated by the same way as a loading dose and will be volume of distribution multiplied on plasma concentration and actually will be 80 liters multiplied on uh, 40 uh, milligrams milligrams per a liter and we will have 3200 uh, milligrams right because we're crossing liters and uh, this actually will correspond to 3.2 grams next question large dose of morphine and again we have time frame uh, six hours plasma concentration at the moment of admission is 0 0.25 uh, milligrams per a liter a uh, volume of distribution 200 liters half-life three hours the question is asking about ingested dose uh, six hours earlier and uh, for such type of questions when you have a time frame i would recommend to do a timeline and this will help you to understand and actually calculate and uh, we have on this timeline we have moment of ingestion and after six hours we have plasma concentration that corresponds to uh, 0 0.25 milligrams per liter and we know that the half-life it is at three hours so in these six hours we are fitting two half-lives one half-life and second half-life so we know that each half-life plasma concentration decreases in two times and the same the opposite is true each half-life plasma concentration rises in two times if we are counting backwards after one half-life here uh, plasma concentration at this point yeah? plasma concentration will be two times higher 0 0.5 milligrams per liter and after one more half-life we're getting to ingestion moment plasma concentration will be one milligram per liter because we have doubled concentration and the ingested dose will be calculated from the equation of volume of distribution and actually it will be volume of distribution multiplied on plasma concentration and we will use these plasma concentration right at the moment of ingestion because question is asking us about amount of drug uh, that this patient inject six hours earlier so in this situation just uh, inject injected ingested dose will be 200 liters multiplied on one milligram per liter and this actually will be 200 milligrams so guys look once again we had uh, two half lives yeah so at the moment of measurement we had plasma concentration 0 0.25 after six hours and uh, during these six hours we had period of two half lives because half life is three hours so after three hours if we are counting backwards we got plasma concentration 0 0.5 and after that two times higher one milligram per a liter that's why we have used one milligram per liter to calculate ingested dose next one one hour ago you see we have time one hour plasma in a level is a five uh, milligrams per deciliter 
careful unit uh, half-life one hour and volume of distribution is a 150 milliliters bioavailability 0.5 we have first order kinetic so we can uh, operate with the half-life Question is asking which of the following doses, so ingested dose, ingested dose. Uh, let's do time frame once again. Let's do a timeline. So we have time of ingestion here, ingestion time. And we have information that this person was delivered uh, one hour ago yeah, after ingestion. So here we have one hour and actually this corresponds to the one half life because half life one hour as well at the moment of admission to emergency room we have plasma concentration of five milligrams per deciliter we had a one half life so at the moment of ingestion after one half life we can see that plasma concentration was 10 milligrams per deciliter. How we can calculate ingested uh, dose? Ingested dose will be volume of distribution multiplied on plasma concentration. Let's try to do that. Volume of distribution 150 milliliters multiplied on 10 milligrams per deciliter. Uh, here we have milliliters, here we have deciliters. We should convert either milliliters to deciliters or deciliters to the milliliters. We know that one deciliter is 100 milliliters. So actually we can see that it is a 10 milligrams for 100 milliliters, right? And uh, 10 milligrams correspond to, let's do a proportion, to 100 milliliters and the X milligrams correspond to one milliliter. So we can calculate in one milliliter that will be 10 multiplied on one divided on 100. And this will be 0 0.1 milligram per milliliter. And we will use this for calculation. So our calculation now will look like that. 150 milliliters multiplied on 0 0.1 milligram per milliliter. And uh, we are getting answer 15, crossing milliliters, 15 milligram. But let's have a look on uh, our initial task. And uh, it shows us bioavailability is 0 0.5. So actually 15 milligrams in case of IV infusion when bioavailability equal to one or 100%. And the uh, ingested dose corrected will be uh, ingested dose for IV uh, divided on bioavailability fraction. And this will be 15 over 0 0.5, which is correspond to 30 milligrams.